Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophet Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to be with us. We ask you to cover us in your blood. We ask you to help us understand this word, Father God, and apply it to our lives. Father God, help us to take each day and, and use it and be used by you you father god father god we ask you right now to bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it in jesus mighty name amen so our verse today is second chronicles 29 and 15 we are foreigners and strangers in this in your sight as we as we're all our ancestors our days on earth are like a shadow without hope subject shadow without hope christian truths so i'm gonna say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like i'm focusing on god i am a strong i'm a stranger I am loving. I am hopeful. The read time is a devotional, 7 minutes and 18 seconds. We often hear that we must be careful when handling things because we never know when the, our last day will be. We never know when we will see someone again. Sometimes we take stuff like this for granted when we argue about things with family, especially since we never know when we'll see them again. So we must be careful with what we do and speak. I can say that some, sometimes looking over certain things is hard. I immediately go to God and say, God, I can't get past this. Show me how to deal with this. And the, and he would. He would guide me through. This verse tells us we are <clears throat> strangers and foreigners here. No matter how many times or how many ways we say we see it or, or we got a home or we got cars and this and that. But if something happens today, we will be gone. The word says we, will, we are like shadows, vape, mist, everything, all these things, all these disagreements. All of it is meaningless. James 4 and 14. Why would why you do not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. James 4 and 14. Psalms 35 and 5. You indeed have made my days as hand breaths and my lifetime as, as nothing before you. Truly, each man at, at, as best exists as but a breath. Psalms 144 and 4. Man is like a breath. His days are like a passing shadow. Since we don't know what day, what hour Jesus will return, we don't know what our last day is here. Even if our, even in our verses today, it tells us we are like a breath. And because we aren't sure, we must live a life of holiness. Yesterday, we talked about holiness and being a special instrument of God. Still, if we are going to continue to live in any way, when we die, we will go to hell. Many people don't want to hear this part. They want to sugarcoat it and they want this part made up or they, they can't dare to hear any of it. And they want to believe everyone goes to heaven. But friends, I won't lie to you. If you're not living a life of holiness, if I'm not living a life of holiness, we aren't going to make it to heaven. But it's up to us. And a lot of people say, well, it's no way God is sending me to hell for this. And it's no way he's sending me to hell for that. And our word, it tells us who will make it and who won't. And he's not sending us. We're sending ourselves. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the heaven, the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. On, the, on that day, many will say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in the name? Cast out demons in your name? Do we not do, do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Revelation 21 and 8 says this. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, 6, 9, 6, 9 and 10 says this also. Or do you not know that the unrighteous would not inherit the kingdom of God? Do you did not? Do, do not be deceived, neither with the sexual moral, or idolaters, nor idolaters, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor greedy, greedy, nor drunkenness, nor ravelers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. This devotion is packed with scriptures because I want everyone to see that this is in the word and this, this is coming straight from the word of God. And a lot of people say they don't read the Bible because they don't want the Bible to show them why and what they're doing wrong. We can go to any preacher to fill our itchy ears, but getting someone to tell us something we want to, to hear versus what we need to hear won't help us in the long run. If you or I don't live a life of righteousness, neither of us will make it to heaven. We have to start getting it right and ask God to give us strength to let go of our fleshly ways and not hold on to every slight bit of bitterness. The word says flee from it. And I know that some of us have had a lot we have went through. 
Still, we also must that must know that holding on to bitterness doesn't help us grow. It stagnates our growth with God. Today, we learned that having all these things in the world can't keep us from hell. Everything we do that's not right in God's sight, we need to fix it. And to do this, we go to him. And a lot of people don't like devotionals like this because it's stating we have a problem. And a lot of people think how... How they are is just fine in the eyes of God, but if you haven't asked him to cleanse you with hyssop, do so by asking him, saying this to him. Father, if there's anything in me that, that you don't like or pleases you, show me. It, it could be selfishness, bitterness, lustful ways, whatever it is. I want to be pure for you and cleanse me like hyssop, Father. We never know when our time would be. So we have our, our arguments with people and we, we need to, get, to go to them and ask them, to, can we fix this? We always want to be ready and prepared, but this isn't saying we did anything wrong, but we must go to them and say, I'm sorry if I offended you. It's up to them to accept. However, if anything, everything we do, we must do it in love. God wants us to understand that certain things won't be accepted in heaven. Sexual immorality, uh, thieves, greedy, idolaters, murders, the faithless, etc. We must strive for perfection and holiness. And to do this, we must do this in his strength, not in ours. Everything is impossible for us, but God... That's why, but not with God. That's why we must go to him in, our, in his strength. That's why we must do everything in his strength. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you today to be with us and show us the way. Father, we are struggling right now. We ask you to give us the strength to walk on the narrow road. Father, every day we try and it's tough. We ask you to help us not to fall, but if we stumble, please help us to keep holding on to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reference, Jeremiah 31, 3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with an unfailing kindness. Jeremiah 31, 3, Exodus 34, 6, and he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate, compassionate and gracious Lord, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Exodus 34, 6. Zephaniah 3 and 17, the Lord, will, the Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you and his love. He will no longer rebuke you, but rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah 3, 17. Further reading, Proverbs 20, Leviticus 20, Jeremiah 26, and Ephesians 3. This ends shadows without hope i pray you all have a blessed day remember jesus loves you i love you too remember to like subscribe and follow on any platform remember to share with any uh, fam remember to share with any family member or friend and remember to share on social media if you have time and if you have a little bit more minutes please go to youtube and like subscribe thank you be blessed